Have you ever been scared to sleep in the dark? Or found yourself walking down an alley, but in the dark? With the help of neon lights, those monsters hiding under your bed or in the corner of that dark alley don't stand a chance. Where did these neon lights come from? Well, a long, long time ago, some old guy named Henrik Geisler discovered the fluorescent lamp by combining a glass tube, a vacuum, and different types of gases. No, silly, not the type of vacuum that Mr. Stormtrooper is using here. This type of vacuum, it seals the tube shut so that no air or gas can squeeze in or out of it. Sometime later, two more old guys named William Ramsey and Morris W. Traverse took Geissner's model of the fluorescent light and added this cool gas to it named Neon. In 1902, the first neon sign was sold to a barber in Paris. You know, that guy that cuts your hair. Then, in 1923, the first neon sign in America was sold to an LA auto dealership. Enough history for now. That stuff's boring. Let's talk science. That's where the real fun is. Neon is one of the six noble gases. These six noble gases are found in group 18 on the periodic table. Noble gases are pretty happy elements because they have enough electrons to fill their outer shell, making them very stable. Neon is very popular amongst these noble gases, by the way. So what exactly is going on inside of those fancy glass tubes? As you can see in this cool picture, there are only a few parts that make up a neon light. The first part is a glass tube. Next, a cathode is attached to one end and an anode on the other. A cathode is the part that supplies the energy and then sends it through the tube to the anode. Before the tube is sealed shut, neon gas is pumped straight into it. Once that fancy tube is sealed shut, all the neon atoms are freely floating around. Energy from the cathode is sent through in currents to the anode. When the energy is moving through the tube, it runs into the neon atoms. This interaction really gets those neon atoms excited. Then they drop in their energy state and release a photon. What is a photon, you ask? It's the particle that emits light. You see a color from these photons when it falls between a specific range in the visible light spectrum. Now obviously there isn't just one color in these lights. That'd be really boring. Different colors are formed by combining different noble gases with different colored glass tubes. The classic neon lamp contains neon gas and some argon gas inside a clear tube and appears red or reddish orange. A clear tube filled with argon and mercury will light up blue. Whose favorite color is green? To make this color, you have to pump a yellow tube with argon and mercury. The same yellow tube pumped with neon will be orange. Neon lights are everywhere in today's world. They can be found at diners, bars, amusement parks, barber shops, and so many more places. One of the most common signs is the open sign in front of many businesses. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. One of the most famous places to find neon lights is in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm sure you've also heard of the infamous Times Square in New York City, where you can see neon lights on every corner. Overall, neon lights are pretty cool. They grab your attention when you're walking down the street and thinking about where your next burger is going to be eaten at. They tell us the business you're going to is open or closed, and best of all, they're just plain fun to look at. So next time you see a neon light, think about all those tiny gas particles that are buzzing around all excited.